This is the video solution for CSIR NET December 2019 part B question number 4. The question is which of the following terms when added to the Lagrangian of a system with two degrees of freedom will not change the equation of motion. Four options are given. So this question is based on the topic classical mechanics and the concept involved here is Euler Lagrangian equation. First of all when in a classical mechanics, a system is defined through its Lagrangian, which is a function of position and velocity, or the first order derivative of position. In order to bring out the equation of motion of the system, Euler Lagrangian equation is established, which is del L by del Q minus d by dt of del L by del Q dot is equal to zero. Now, in this question, we are given a Lagrangian which is a function of position and its first order derivative. Four options are given. The question is which of the term if you add to the Lagrangian will not change its equation of motion. The issue is out of the four options given some of them contain terms which are second order derivative of the position. So does that mean those options are wrong? No. Lagrangian can have higher order derivatives of position coordinate but in that scenario this conventional Euler Lagrangian equation will not be valid. Why? Because when higher Lagrangian is a when Lagrangian is a function of higher order derivative of position the resulting system becomes unstable and that instability is called Ostrogratsky instability. So, when we have higher order term in the Lagrangian, the corresponding Euler Lagrangian equation will also change and the equation will be modified to del L by del Q minus d by dt of del L by del Q dot plus d square by dt square del L by del Q double dot is equal to 0. So this question, equation is our required equation. This equation is our required equation. Okay. So the question here is we have four terms given. These are the four term, terms. As I said, these two terms contain the higher order terms. So what the question is, we have to find out which of the term when added to the original Lagrangian will not change its equation of motion. That means when we add this term and operate this Lagrangian with this equation of motion, the final output will be the same. It will not change. So the what we have to do it here is, we don't have the Lagrangian actually given, but we have this term. So what we have to do it here is, we have to test each of this term, each of the four terms in this equation. So when we operate those terms in this equation, which of the term the ultimate answer will be z become 0 will be our answer. So let's do that. So once we start operating these terms one by one, ultimately this out of the four equations, this term, the second one, this second term, the uh, when we operate with this uh, modified Euler Lagrangian equation will become 0. That means when this term is added to the Lagrangian, uh, this will not affect the, its equation of motion. So, out of the four options, this option number 2 is the correct answer.